Today's hymn is another hymn on the Holy Trinity and it is based on the revelation to John of worship in heaven and it's by a, an Anglican minister in the 19th century. He wrote the hymn to come after the Nicene Creed in the Anglican service and it always strikes me as um, something of a tragedy these days that in a lot of contemporary worship settings uh, the Nicene Creed is almost unknown to, uh, to the worshippers but it's the historic statement of the church about the Godhead three persons in one God and uh, he wrote this hymn uh, as a reflection really on the worship of the Trinity that was shown to John in Revelation. Uh, I was brought up uh, in the Presbyterian Church and uh, when I was a child this was the first hymn that was sung every Sunday and it was also the first hymn in the Presbyterian hymn book uh, in the church I was brought up in in Canada. And it has always left a profound impression on me of awe uh, and wonder and worship, uh, even as a child. And like the other hymns on the Trinity that I've posted, it's really worth taking out and meditating on and singing and praying over in our own personal worship of Father, Son and Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, Trinity. 